Hello everybody, this is Stringhammer back to kick off round 7 for Group G. And we have got this fight card for you ladies and gentlemen, so check it out. So, you can see it there, our main event of this session, it is Lad going up against Shy Guy. A victory for Shy Guy would take them into the top 4, provided other results go their way. But before that, we have got the Pivar going up against Drogon Targaryen III. Well, 3 no win for Drogon if they do get it, and they could win this group provided Futuristic doesn't get any points in their matchup. Then we also have Dino Tanker taking on Moon. Tanker will go through with a victory against Pointless Winless Moon. But up first it is Futuristic going up against Ultra Lord. Right then, in the red corner for Futuristic we got Super Baryonyx Awaker Mode on 3. Well, Futuristic has been very good in this tournament so far. If they do get a losing bonus point here, they do secure top spot. And that would put them on the favourable side of the draw. I mean, I f they're probably going to win this group anyway, but still. <laughs> you never know in this tournament. Right, in the blue corner, for Ultra Lord, we have got Alfred Wanadon. Ultra Lord has to get a bonus point win here to stay alive in this tournament. Because they don't have the head to head against Tenka or Piva. But if they get a bonus point win, they'll go one point above those two, and then they'll just have to hope that those two and, and Shy Guy do not win. So let's see how this goes. Oh, Futuristic gets the first shot of the match. They're very accustomed to a fast start, Futuristic. And this is no different, but the dino stuff is going to put a stop to that crit. Okay, that's a tie. And they get the hit, of course they do. It's another fast start from Futuristic. And they get the and they get the awaker mode as well. So you know what that means. They probably will get the next hit in this match as well. Oh, hang on. Oh, they it won't be awakening time yet, because that Aqua Javelin is gonna be lethal for the Iguanodon. Not a good start for Ultra Lord. Right, coming in next for Ultra Lord, we got Super Majungasaurus, Awaker Mode on 3. Well, first things first, he's got to survive an Awakened hit from the Baryonyx. And I don't think the Baryonyx has failed to get an Awakened hit in this match, in this entire tournament. That's crazy. Right, that's 2. Okay, Majungasaurus does get the hit. Get the hit. Ultra Lord finally getting a hit in this match. Right, time for the Awakened Baryonyx. Let's see if it can continue his streak of getting Awakened hits. Oh, they don't! And I think that's the first time in this entire tournament that Futuristic has failed to get the Awakened hit with the Baryonyx. Very interesting. And that's a tie. And that's a hit from Majungasaurus. And more crucially, they save the Awaken mode for this Super Sychania as well. Ultra Lord coming back into this match. Right, coming in next for Futuristic, we have got the Super Sychania Awaken mode on three. Now, Fu now Ultra Lord does have to beat this and Ace Dino Tector with that Majungasaurus to stay in this tournament. So that is a big ask. Especially after an, the Awaken mode, that Majungasaurus is going to lose half his health, which could be a big problem for Ultra Lord. But it might be worth the trade-off if they do get the Awakened hit. Right, and it is time for the Awaken mode. Elementor, Fusion! Oh, they don't get it! Was that it for Ultra Lord? Was that the last chance saloon? They needed that awakened hit to have a chance of doing this work, getting this bonus point win, and they didn't get it. And futuristic, that puts them back in the driving seat again. Yeah, but the odds are futuristic is probably going to get a hit at some point in this match. 
And well, it's awakening time for Cytrenia, so that hit could come now. Oh, oh my god, another failed awakened hit from Futuristic. That's crazy. That means all three awakened dinos have failed to get an awakened hit in this match. And Ultra Lord takes the lead. It's a hurricane beat. They're not gonna do they they're not gonna do this, are they? <laughs> Cause like I said, Futuristic is gonna get a hit at some point in this match. And Majungasaurus is on low health, so that hit's gonna be lethal. But they're still hanging on in there, they're still giving themselves that glimmer of hope. Right, coming in food for Futuristic. We got Ace Dino Tech them. Well, we've hardly seen this dude. It had to step up against Drogon, which is no surprise because that was always going to be a tough match. And if Futuristic wants this win, it's going to have to step up again. Yes, three. That's a crit. The finish line might start to be might be starting to get in sights for the Ultra Lord. Until that happened, is that lethal? Oh, it's not! Hang on, is that a Jet Shuriken? No, it's a Cyclone. Ultra Lord still has a chance. But that Cyclone does complicate things. Oh, there's a hit. No, that's it. Ultra Lord is done in this tournament. They needed the bonus point win, and they're not going to get it. But they came relatively close. <laughs> Well, can they at least finish their tournament on a high and get the win? Right, coming in food for Ultra Lord, we've got Deinonychus. <laughs> oh, well, futuristic complete the comeback. They've been on the back foot, actually, for most of this match. Other than the start, oh, Ultra Lord gets another hit. And they're on the back foot again. And that's the win for Ultra Lord. It is the victory, but it is not enough for Ultra Lord to go through. They needed the bonus point and they didn't get it. But they do claim a good win against Futuristic, who has been very strong in this tournament. And well, Futuristic will still win this group most likely, unless Drogon gets a 3-0 win. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Dino Tenka, we have got a Simul Tyrannus. Victory for Tenka would take them back into the top four and put pressure on Piva. A bonus point, and they would go second in the table. But in the blue corner for Moon, we have got Super Minus, and well... Well, they get terrain advantages, so they're going to get the first hit, and it's going to be a paper hit. Moon is just looking for their first points of the tournament, and they just finish on a high. And Carl, come on, Moon. Here's hoping that they can at least get a, something out of this game. Right, first things first, get the terrain hit done. It's a good hit. Okay, that's a tie. Oh, here comes the heat eruption. Simon Tyrannus is more of a tie specialist. That heat eruption is going to cause problems for Moon. As, as it will cause problems for my emulator. That's a hit from Moon, a stomping hammer coming. Oh no, it's a power drain, sorry. Good strike from Moon. Keeping their lead. Well, this is a better start from them than they've had in the past six matches. I'll give them that. Oh, it's a tie. No heat eruption this time, though. Oh, Tanker does get the crit. A light recovery as well. That's going to level things up a bit.
Oh, that's a tie. No heat. Again, no heat eruption. And that tile down the Suka Minus, and it is 1 0 to Tenga. Okie dokie, coming in next the Moon, we have got Ankylosaurus. Well, they're not that far behind. One hit in this all square again. It's been a very even contest so far. Bing, chicka bing. As for Tenka, a good chance to extend their lead here. A bonus point win would be very beneficial for them. Okay, they do get the next hit. And now the big crit. Well, this is the worry for Moon. Oh, that's another hit. Tango extending their lead all of a sudden. And Moon struggling to get a hit on the board. Okay, there's a tie. Oh, for, it doesn't even take it out. Oh, 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 man. Man, Moon can't catch a break in this tournament. They really haven't been able to catch a break. Like, wow. Right, coming with food for Moon, we got Kakarodontosaurus. No, come on. Can Moon produce a, a comeback? Can they do it? Okay, there's a hit. Simon Tyrannus going down. But do you feel, I do feel for Moon the damage has been done already. Okay, attack boost coming in. Coming in for Tenka, we've got Megalosaurus, and what a chance for Tenka now. They can get the bonus point win, that will really put the pressure on Pivar. Going into their match against Drogon. Well, let's see how this goes. That's a six. Okay, that's a tie. Oh, there's another hit from Megalosaurus, a tie bomb coming in. That's one. That's a tie. That, that blows up the tie bomb. And that does guarantee the losing bonus point for Tenka should they still lose this match. Well, from the looks of it, I don't think they're going to be losing. That's a crit block as well. And in fact, that will guarantee the bonus point win for Tenka. Because the Megalosaurus, the Kakarodontosaurus will not survive this tie. And the worst case scenario for Tenka is a tie. So that is going to be the bonus point win. And let's just generate the mover. And of course, <laughs> of course it's the paper. <laughs> oh, that just sums up Moon's fortunes in this tournament. This has just been really, really tough. But it is Tenka's victory, a bonus point win, a huge result for them. Putting all sorts of pressure on Pivar going into their match. And as for Moon, well, I think we can all press F in the chat for Moon. It's just been a really, really tough tournament for them. But I do hope they'll come back next year and I'm sure they'll do better. Right, on to match number three. Right then, in the red corner, representing the Pivar, we have got Storacosaurus. Victory for Pivar, and they go third in the table. A bonus point win, and they'll go second. And they do get terrain advantage here, courtesy of this Stratosaurus. But in the blue corner for Drogon, we have got Gygus. And while Drogon not home and hose yet, they do need to get some points. We'll be assured of a place in the knockout rounds. A win, and they'll definitely go through. In fact, I think a losing bonus point would... I don't even think that'll be enough. Yes, it will be enough. But they will leave it a bit to chance. Right, first things first, train advantage. Ooh, that's a crit. That's a good response from Drogon. Getting the move block going as well. And the poison, that's good. But no flare sword, but a good response to that early hit from Drogon. 
Okay, that's another hit from Gygus. Good start from Drogon so far in this match. And that's another hit. Can they get a Flare Sword this time? Not doing too much damage though. Stratosaurus is quite resilient. Resilient or not, it's going down. Only just though. <laughs> not a good start for Peevar, but a very good start for Drogon. They definitely mean business this time. Right, coming in next for Peevar, we have got Majungasaurus. I should say, if Drogon does collect a bonus point of any kind in this match, they will set a record as being the only combatant to have ever collected bonus points in all their matches in the group stage. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Rack em up. Okay, there's a hit from Peevar. Finally getting a hit in this match, but not much damage done. The Jungasaurus typed his advantage against our Gygus. It's going to be a big problem for Peevar. As will that, because Gygus' hits are going to be harder. Okay, there's a crit. It's a bite in wind, but again, the damage is going to be very limited. Let's have a look. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. I think this Majungasaurus is counter-type, so they do a bit more damage. Ooh, but Gygus getting another hit on the board. Oh, there's another hit. A Flare Sword here. No Flare Sword. Some poison, though. Hasn't got a single Flare Sword off yet, Drogon. But they are going 2-0 up. And this, well, Peevar is really dancing with disaster here. It has not been a good start. Right, coming in third for Pivar, we got Satiosaurus. At least it's got type advantage over that Gygus. But it's got to get past Eoraptor and Spinosaurus as well. And the chance of the bonus point win has gone too. But if Pivar does win this match, they, they'll still go above Drogon by virtue of the head to head. But it's, gonna, it's a long shot at this point. Can they pull this back? Well, that's Gygus gone. Right, coming in next for Drogon, we have got Eoraptor. Now, here's where Pivar could cut strike back in this match. If they can get a big crit early on on this thing, they'll be right back in this match. Easier said than done, of course. Right, and it's Sorophagonax, so it doesn't have heat eruption to worry about. So that is a saving grace. But we'll see what happens. What they can't afford to let happen is that Eoraptor getting hit. With the defense boost, with the possible light recovery, it's going to be real pain in the neck to kill. Okay, that's a softening beam. Pivar finally getting some hits in this match, but is it too little too late? Oh wow, that is a load of damage. See what I mean? Eoraptor so fragile. And that's another softening beam. This is exactly what Pivar wanted. Kill this Eoraptor quick. And then it's just Spinosaurus to worry about. And well, just like that. All of a sudden. The momentum is with Pivar now. Right, coming in third for Drogon Targaryen the third, we've got Spinosaurus and they're not sitting so comfortable anymore. The momentum definitely with Pivar. I mean, all Drogon really needs is a losing bonus point and that'll be them through, essentially. And I should say, a win for Pivar here does knock Shy Guy out of the tournament as well. Okay, there's a hit from Drogon. Getting the technique boost going as well, along with the Aqua Javelin, that'll help. Oh, that's a crit. Well, Piva came right back into this match, but Drogon started to rack up hits again, and that's the losing bonus point secured. 
<laughs> so Drogon will get a loot. Well, if they win this match, they won't actually get a bonus point. So we'll see what happens. Oh, they, oh, they do win the match. That is it for Piva. The Spinosaur is proving too strong. And it is Drogon Targaryen III taking the victory. But what they don't get is a bonus point. And that's the first time that's happened in this tournament. <laughs> so, But they do go through, so I don't think they'll be too sore. Now then, on to our main event of this session. Right the ho then, in the red corner, for land we have got you Centrosaurus. Okay, there's no water types in this matchup, so no terrain advantages. We do have three Blitz Dinos of Shy Guys up. Right, in the blue corner for Shy Guy, we have got Pachycephalosaurus Blitz type. So you know the deal is going to go for them two crits. And well, anything other than a bonus point win here for Shy Guy, and they will go home. So getting those big blitz hits will be essential. And if they get them, they got every chance of getting a bo the bonus point win they need. Right, time for crit number one. Oh, they get it. Right now for crit number two. Oh, but they don't get that one. Instead, it's Lad getting the crit. Defense boost activate in there. Five. Oh, that's another hit from Lad. Remember, all Lad has to do in this match to go through is take out Pachycephalosaurus and Serolophus. They don't even have to win. Just stop Shy Guy getting a bonus point win. They do that, they're through. That losing bonus point they got in the last round could prove crucial. As could this quick start. The Pachycephalosaur is going down, struggling to get hits at the minute, Shy Guy. Okie dokie, coming in next for Shy Guy, we've got the Blitz type Sorolophus. So it will go for them two crits as well. Sorolo Shy Guy really needs to get a crit here, because the lad has been on top early on. Let's have a look. Right, let's have a look how this goes. Oh, that's a tie. Crit number two, and they do get the crit. Shy Guy getting a big crit there. It won't, and it's not lethal. He rock. His Centrosaurus does survive. Nature's blessing coming in here, healing up the Sorolophus. Okay, that's a tie. Okay, there's a hit. There goes you, Centrosaurus. Okay, the Sorolophus didn't take too much damage. Well, it hardly took any. It's maxed up in techniques boost, and it's got a Nature's Blessing to play with, and a Green Impulse. And it's got type advantage over this Polacanthus. If Shy Guy can start rallying some hits, this bonus point win is well doable. Right, coming in next for Lad, we've got the Polacanthus. And remember, all Lad has to do is beat, kill, knock out this Sorolophus, and he's through. Oh, that's a crit. That's exactly what Shy Guy wants. And a nature's blessing as well. With the type advantage. The momentum definitely with Shy Guy at the minute. Oh, and that's another hit. Okay, that's a tie. No green impulse. Oh, and that's a hit from Lad, and they needed this hit, and Anyang Gera died. Oh, if he can at least chip away at the Sorolophus' HP, because the Nature's Blessing is used up. That's a new barrier. I don't think that's going to matter, though. But Nature's Blessing is all used up, it's maxed up. The tie. Okay, that is a hit from Sorolophus. And the Polar Campus does go down, but the Sorolophus did take a beat in. So it's not 
Not all too, not all bad, the lad. This cock will only need one or two hits to finish the job. Right, coming in third, the lad, we got Kakuodontosaurus. Can they do it? Can they get rid of this Sorolophus? And as for Shy Guy, can they get this bonus point win? Okay, that's a tie, but that's green that's green impulse tie. And that green impulse will heal up the Sorolophus. Like by a smidgen. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, by quite a bit actually. Not good for lad. Oh, definitely not good, and now they are flirting with disaster a bit. What a disaster this could be for Lad. All they need is a hit on this Sorolophus. Okay, they get it. It's going to be a big burning dash. Is this going to be enough to take out that Sorolophus? Oh, this is so tense. I think it might be lethal. It's lethal. That'll do it for Lad. They take out the Sorolophus and that guarantees their place in the last 32 round. At the expense of Shy Guy. Right, coming in third for Shy Guy, we have got the Edmontonio. It's Blitz type. It doesn't matter now because Shy Guy cannot get enough points to get in our top four. But can they at least finish this match with a win? Well, I'll give them this much. Having a full team of Blitz Dinos is definitely fun. But yeah, I think it does have its risks. Okay, it's a tie. When it fails, it does fail spectacularly. Another tie. That's a third tie. Oh, what we got here? That's a sand trap, and that's going to do it for Shy Guy. They do get the win, but it is not enough to go through. And Lad clings on by the skin of his teeth. And like I said, that losing bonus point they got in the previous round. Massive. Without that, they'd be out. So yeah, well done to Shy Guy, and well done to Lad for sneaking through to that last 32 round. Right, that concludes Group G, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're going to have a look at the table and where everyone will be in the last 32 round, and we'll end the session. Right, that's Group G, ladies and gentlemen. So you can see Futuristic topping it with 19 points. Then we have Drogon Targaryen the third on finishing on 18 points with 6 bonus points. Dino Tanker climbing up to third on 16 points. Then Lad sneaking through on 13 points, all thanks to that losing bonus point they got in the pre in the round six. And then we have Shy Guy, Piva, Ultra Lord, all bowing out on 12 points. I mean, not that it matters, but Shy Guy does finish fifth because they have a better record than these two. And then Piva has the head-to-head -head over Ultra Lord, who finishes seventh. And then poor old Moon. Right, let's have a look where these four will be in the brackets. So yeah, you can see it's going to be futuristic going up against Silver Knights up here. And Drogon, yet another bloody hard hitter on this side of the draw. Look look at this top half alone. That is mental. And whoever gets finishes third in Group H, good luck. And then down here we do have Lad and they will have a tough match going up against Black Beauty. And over here we have Dino Tanker going up against Virga. So that'll be an interesting match. But yep, that's going to end this session here. And we've got one more group to conclude. Group H. And until then, ta-ta. <laughs>